Fred, a tremendous individual performance tonight by Allen Iverson, but his team ends up on the losing end. They certainly did. You talk about a performance by uh, Allen Iverson. Check this out. 18 for 27 from the floor. Only problem in the fourth period, AI. Two points, one for four from the floor, and that's where it counts. He was not able to get it done. But for the first three periods, the little guy had it going on, making shots of all varieties, and he can do that. You know, 51 points, big number. Problem is, Kobe Bryant in his ball game. think about this, only 25 points in the ball game, but he had 12 in the fourth period, shooting four from nine. Big difference in the ball game. For the Denver Nuggets, this was a revenge game. After all, they took a pretty good whipping down there in L.A., so now they're playing the Lakers, coming back to Denver after about on a back-to-back -back game, so you would think that Denver would have the, the, the nod in this ball game. But Phil Jackson did a great job of substitution, keeping his guys fresh, and then Kobe Bryant, of course, took over in the fourth period, Bruce. Well, AI now with 11 career 50-point games. Kobe has 21 to lead all active players. And speaking of Kobe, he stepped up in the fourth quarter when the game was on the line. He had 12 points. And that's what he's supposed to do, just step up in the fourth period. You know, the great players do that. They don't expend all their energy in the first three periods. Yes, they keep their ball club close. close. They pick up a couple baskets in each quarter, a couple free throws in each quarter. Now the ball game is close. He has the energy, stamina, and strength to be able to carry his ball club in the fourth quarter. Kobe's got experience. He knows how to do the job. By the way, Vladimir Rodmanovich in this game was six for nine from downtown. He had 21, so he helped him out a little bit. Oh, no question about it. And Vladimir was struggling for a while, but now he's beginning to make that outside shot. He starts to make the three-pointer. The Lakers are very good. Meanwhile, Marcus Camby, 20 rebounds in the ball game, 0 for 3 from the floor. You know, that's the big thing here. You look at 1 for 10 in the ball game for J.R. Smith, and Camby struggled from the field, and Kenya Martin was 2 for 8. So even though Carmelo and A.I. combined for 77 points, you can't always do it alone. No, you certainly can't always do it alone. And I'm so afraid of the Denver Nuggets. They're singing that song about defense, but I don't think they're out there playing defense at the level that they should be playing it. And if their defense doesn't pick up, yes, they can score, but when you get into postseason play, you better learn to play defense now so you can play defense come playoff time. Good win for the Lakers on the road, especially considering how good Denver is at home. Oh, no question about it. And a good win also because it's back-to-back -back and you're traveling to Denver. That's tough. So we got to watch great individual performers tonight. But once again, down the stretch, you look at the guy who executes better and the team concept that ends up winning. It's so important, the team concept. And that's what Kobe's been preaching. He's been talking all that. He's not trying to lead the league in scoring. He's just playing winning basketball. So Iverson posts a 50-plus-one but his ball club loses at home.